Halo Infinite's campaign world of Zeta Halo will be crucial for future events within the game. How so? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Halo Infinite's plan to be a game that we've never experienced before as a Halo fan. Taking advantage of recent technologies and a brand new engine and a whole new type of campaign structure, and being a game as a service, it's likely we will see live events happen with this game. And with the recent nuked out event that's currently happening with Warzone and the Call of Duty side of things, it makes me wonder, how would Halo Infinite play out as a live service event kind of thing? So I figure we look into the past of what previous game companies have done and how 343 could take pages from their playbook to implement that into Halo Infinite and what the effects of those playbook pages will have on the franchise as a whole. So if you guys like these discussion kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. Live events are certainly a new thing to come around with more of the shooter genre side of things. Definitely got started with Fortnite with their accomplishments to be able to pull off with that. Destiny's been doing it as well, and now Call of Duty has been doing it with their Warzone game mode as well. These events caused quite a spectacle and a bit of interest with back into the game, but kind of helped renew excitement within a bit of a lull period when it comes to major beats within the franchise as a whole. Even MCC has kind of dipped a toe in the water when it comes to having special events, like we had the flooded event that happened with that, where you play a certain place, you earn a nameplate, something like that as well as the yapping as well, which is a super fun kind of new game modes and kind of fun stuff they kind of did around with MCC there. But I think that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to live events for Halo. I really feel like with Halo Infinite, we'll see some grand scale events that will really just be major beats within the community's experience of playing the game. We're seeing something like that happen right now with the Call of Duty franchise and Warzone, where it sounds like the map of Verdansk, which has been the main map that only map actually that's been for the mode that they've been playing for just about over a year now at this point has just been nuked in the recent event and the rumors are that it's going to get replaced with a 1980s version of Verdansk. Now we've seen other game franchises like I mentioned earlier pull this kind of stuff off like we had with Destiny 2. We've had a couple of events where the Traveler healed themselves back to normal and it kind of changed up the map and the experience with the UI as well with that and also just the backdrop of the tower and also with the Almighty's crashing into the planet as well. And the franchise of Fortnite has certainly done some crazy things when it comes to their live service events. I mean, obviously, we, everyone probably thinks of like the Travis Scott event, which is a little cringy, but also kind of fun as well. But they've had multiple live events, which really helped bring the community together, really experience something unique and different that you could only have at that day. So why even bother having live events? Well, like I mentioned earlier, is that they really kind of help spark interest back in the game, something new and fresh beyond just your mon mundane, everyday kind of activities of just playing regular multiplayer, playing regular campaign over and over again, just cause it's really fun. What this does, it sparks interest back in the game because it's something new and interesting to get people kind of coming back in to play, to boost up those player counts and kind of get people back into playing the game again. Because generally people kind of like get really excited, they'll play a game for a few weeks and maybe hop off. Those are kind of like the casual audience kind of gamers. And you need those people to keep coming back to your game because it's going to be a huge base of people that are going to come in and play. Obviously, the more people playing your game, the better. Another really cool thing that I think live events have an effect on is beyond the game itself, but the community as a whole, the people who play the game in and out day and day or just keep up with the news and the information going on, which if you want to stay up to date, make sure you subscribe to the channel shameless plug I know because these are events that everyone experiences on the same day or at least around the same week at least or something like that like I said with the Call of Duty event that was like only like two or three hours available to play the specific event within Warzone so when you think back like a year after that you're like oh yeah I remember that event I'm trying to hop in and play with everybody and just jump it on at the exact same time it creates these kind of epic moments that you don't really get the chance to experience beyond your just typical days of playing a video game they create these memorable moments that make you kind of just fall in love with the game even more make you kind of appreciate what the developers are able to pull off with it so how would halo infinite pull off a live event 
Could 343 find a way to bring these rememberable moments into Halo Infinite's experience? Well, I think yes, and I don't think it would be too crazy of an ask to be able to pull off. And most likely it's in the plan since Halo Infinite is already a live service or a game as a service kind of model, so this kind of live event idea does kind of fall in line with the same kind of format that Halo Infinite is looking to follow. And like I mentioned at the top of this video, I feel like the open world of Zeta Halo is going to be the crucial part about this. Because yes, you can queue up in some multiplayer experiences for some limited time game modes, and those will be super fun as well. But I feel like having something unique and timed happen within the world of Zeta Halo will create something much more larger and much more mysterious and interactive than you can ever have with a match made multiplayer experience. One thing Call of Duty Warzone did actually very well to kind of hint towards something more was these different bunkers that they came around within the world. You got these access codes and when you go into these rooms, they had certain kind of hints to something bigger, something more, something larger that will be coming on later down the line. Most likely it was hinting to this nuked event that's happening right now. They actually did some promotion of a new Call of Duty within Warzone as well, which actually ended up being really effective was the Know Your History the live event that happened within Warzone, which kind of gave the official announcement of Call of Duty Cold War coming for the next release of the franchise. It really added in the cool theme of the Cold War 1980s and all that Russia versus US side of things, but also integrating within Warzone as well. So it kind of helps like get that connectivity between different games within Call the Call of Duty franchise, which has always been such a huge issue. I felt like with that franchise as a whole, where every year it's something New, something completely different you never just have like a chance to just jump in and play and that know your history event just did such an awesome job really got people excited for the new game now why wouldn't halo try doing the same thing but say with like a new dlc coming out have a new event that happens within the open world of zeta halo to help give you more promotion for say the next dlc that's going to come out probably well, probably like every two years we'll probably get a new campaign DLC or something like that or maybe every year we get like a really big beat when it comes to new content or new additions to the game or something crazy happening that make you want to jump in and play again. Imagine if they did that but with Halo Infinite where an event happens where maybe the community as a whole needs to figure out a certain code or sequence or locations within the world that are kind of like hidden easter eggs you need to kind of jump in and search throughout the world to unlock the next part of say the, the live event that would be part of the whole thing hypothetically let's say within the world of zeta halo and the vanilla campaign story that the flood don't come in the game whatsoever which i'd be shocked but it gets a pretty much a possibility because what they could do just like a month or two later is have a flood based event where the ring of zeta halo is taken over by the flood but throughout this event you kind of start getting hints and clues to maybe some more lore aspects and more storytelling that can be found within the world that kind of leads you towards this point like oh my gosh the flood are coming or you can do something very similar as well with different kind of characters maybe like atriox coming in, into zeta halo like could you imagine just like jumping into zeta halo's world and then like it's infested with the flood for this event and you have to find a way to go from a to b and if you survive that you get some special kind of code or some cutscene or maybe even something like a nameplate or at least or something like that it just would create so much more unique experiences that you could have within zeta halo or just halo infinite just in general and i think that the campaign side of things the pve open world that's going to be with halo infinite is going to be a much bigger emphasis within the game development side of things it's not going to be just you know new dlc new weapons new maps and just a typical kind of route that we've seen previously with halo's downloadable content i think we're going to be seeing a big emphasis on the pve the e side of things where it's going to give you more of a reason to jump in and play that open world again beyond just you know playing through the campaign storyline or maybe there's a live event that happens eventually where like you need to go to like find some forerunner structure within the world of zeta halo which will eventually like fix the ring all together so you fix up that portion that has opens up a whole new section of the map or something like that because we certainly will be getting campaign dlc for zeta halo and possibly if you integrate that in with a live event, it would just create much more of a connected experience between these different beats that you'll be hitting while playing Halo for the next 10 years for Halo Infinite. And 343 teased us a little bit with this with MCC. We haven't really seen a live event recently, but I would certainly like to see another one happen again. 
And also just having these live events would certainly help create these certain beats that you definitely remember when it comes to playing each game. I'm sure all of us remember that first time putting in a disc for our new Halo game that we got either at C, 2, 3, and all the other Halo games. Everyone kind of remembers their first night playing, right? Well, imagine you've had that first night playing experience once a year with a new live event that integrates some new part into Halo Infinite. That's why I think a live event would be such a cool addition to Halo Infinite's entire experience that really kind of create those beats and those memorable moments and help boost that popularity and conversation around the game itself. Where as long as there's something new and cool that's happening with the game, people are going to talk about it, people are going to create content on it, and people are going to play the game. I'm sure many of you who are watching this video enjoy other games that have done live events. You probably don't really play too often, but it's a live event, it's something cool and new happening with the game download it and play it. You know, that's, I'm sure you probably have all experienced that a little bit. I certainly have as well with Destiny and also with a little bit of Call of Duty as well. Now we just love to see the same thing happen with Halo Infinite. If you guys like these kind of discussion videos, let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are live events for Halo Infinite. If you missed any content from me recently or bound to loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. Got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.